Hey, Channel Editor Channel, I'm back. And uh, today I'm here with a little bit of a rant, really. It's not really anything specific, like my video at least. It's specific on my rant is work. And I just felt like talking about some bullcrap that happens at my job sometimes. Mm, I think I had a hair. Oh, well. Uh, but either way, let's get it going and I'll let you know how... <laughs> My job has been doing with me recently, so. Alright, guys. Pretty much. I don't know if you remember, but before I went on my little vacation, I got suspended from work. And it was all this problems because one of my managers, team leads, whatever you want to call them, someone higher up than me who tells me what to do. He didn't understand what I was talking to him about that day. That day, I came into work right, right when I saw him, right when, you know, I'm supposed to do everything. I talked to him, and I tell him, yo, I hurt myself, my ankle specifically, and I'm not going to be able to move around a lot. I'm st I can still, you know, walk around slowly and work. He's like, that's fine. And he started laughing at me because he's like, you always have a problem. And I'm like, I guess. So next thing I know, I'm working all day. Fine. I'm, I'm, he put me in the spot I'm supposed to be at. I'm working the whole day as fast, fast as I can. No problems. I'm, keep, I'm actually keeping up with the speed I'm supposed to be doing. Later that day, uh, he asked me to do something that requires lifting. And I was like, I can't. He's like, what do you mean you can't? I'm like, I can't do that. I want to do so. I, I need to do something else. He's like, well, I want you to do this. There's nothing else for you to do. I'm like, I can, I'm like, I can't do it, but I can teach someone to do it so they can learn how to do it. Cause he was like, I don't have anyone else. I was like, well, I can teach someone. He's like, no, I want you to do it. I'm like, but I can't do it, sir. He was like, well, that's the only thing I want you to do. If I'm like, fine, if that's the only thing you want me to do. Then I'll just clock out and go home if there's nothing else for me to do here. I didn't yell at him. I didn't say anything to him. He was getting mad and huffy and puffy about, oh, I don't want to do crap. I'm always lazy. I'm like, no, that's not the case. You should know what the case is. It was my fault for not reminding him. Uh, he he speaks a different language, so he has there's a little language barrier. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to offend anybody. But I'll say this, he has an a, a thick Asian accent. And it was just hard. I mean, typically we can understand each other, but that day it was just hard. And, you know, they suspended me because they didn't like that me and him had an argument. And I clocked out and left home. I was like, well, he had nothing for me to do. Uh, I was injured. He didn't care. And he just wanted me to do one single thing. He wasn't thinking about me. So I was like, all right, whatever. I come back, I get this settled and everything. And then the same line lead coworker of mine, I see him getting into arguments with other coworkers. And I'm like, I used to be a businessman. Not anymore. I kind of like, I let my youth make me waste all my money, essentially. But pretty much he, he starts getting into arguments with all these other coworkers. And it's more that he doesn't know how to, tell them how to do their job he he gets frustrated with them from them not knowing how to do the job but he doesn't take the time he's really a fast-paced person he likes to tell you what to do and leave and that's not good especially for a leader uh, a manager someone who's supposed to be overseeing us and last night he had an altercation with someone else who I'm pretty I'm, I'm okay with him I'm not saying I'm close but we're we're tight in the sense that we're mutually respectful to each other and I realized later at the work that he wasn't there. Like, I realized, whoa, he's been gone for a certain amount of time. I wonder if he went home early. I go outside, clock out and everything, and he's out there, and he's telling me he just got fired. I'm like, why? He was like, him and the manager, and the line lead, he, he, they, he told him to do something, which he did. He was telling him he was slow. He, w he was discouraging him. And taking his credibility away. Even though he was sitting there watching him do it. 
he was like he didn't like that he didn't like that no matter what he does which is not the case which is the case with a lot of us a lot of the workers there have this issue with it where he downgrades what we do he does it to me too I'm one of the fastest people in there and he still downgrades me and I'm too much of a I'm an assertive person to let that slide even if he thinks even though a lot of people tell me I just need to let it slide I just can't it's just not who I am and it, I'm, I'm not gonna do it but either way he, back to my coworker. he tells him that you know you moved me so I didn't do the job it was someone else's you know responsibility because you moved me midway through the job and he's like you didn't do it I'm like he's like how are you gonna tell me I didn't do it you moved me midway so I couldn't do the rest the rest was up to the new person and he kept blaming him and blaming him and eventually you know he got too frustrated with him and, and you know he's like I'm done talking to you I just don't want to talk no more so they sent him home and then as he was walking home he's like you know what whatever he said whatever and then they fired him for saying whatever you know he was done with the situation he was frustrated he didn't know what to do and they, he said whatever and they got fired that's stupid and like oh my god to me, it's just, I don't get why certain people are leaders if they don't know how to lead. They can be great workers. Like, this manager, he is one of the fastest workers there. He knows what he's doing and everything. He just doesn't know how to tell us what to do. He doesn't know how to teach us what to do, which is what he is supposed to do. He's supposed to be our leader to teach us how to do certain steps. Or he doesn't know how to put people in the positions where they are good at and leave them there. He always likes to move them around. He's not a good leader. I don't understand why people, not just in my and where I'm working, but in general, I see a lot of people who are managers and stuff, and half the time they don't know what they're doing, and they have to have a coworker who's lower to them, who's been there longer, or just understands it more better. I need people in the world to start taking their job seriously, at least for where they are. I know they don't want to be there forever. For instance, if you're McDonald's and you're you're a manager there, at least know what you're doing so everything runs smoothly and you're not stressed. That's the thing when managers get stressed. They take everything up so much and they don't know what to do with it after that. It's frustrating. I, I've had to, you know, deal with frustrating people when I used to own my own company. And, you know, I had to fire friends. I had to fire some family members. Family members. And it, it didn't bother me because I'm like, you just weren't the fit for this place. Uh, I gave you chances and that was it. I, I told you how to do it, you learned it, you were great at it, but your commitment to it was just not there and I couldn't deal with it. Or vice versa. Uh, you know what to do, but since you think you're better than everyone, you decide not to do anything. So I have to cut you loose. That's another thing. And eventually, you know, people get tired. But, you know, when it comes to like working for someone, it's harder because you see all this injustice, all this Oh, because he's manager, you know, the regional manager or something has to, you know, they have to back up their, their manager, the person they put in charge of the rest of the people while they're not there. And I get that. But there's always two sides to a story. I mean, they need to start learning how to figure that out. Because they're also going to start firing people. Like, my where I work, the turnaround rate is crazy. I'm not going to say where I work or anything because I'm not trying to put them on blast. I'm just saying, if, in, if you don't have a good manager, the turnaround rate is going to be bad. You need to have good people be in a high position who know what they're doing and know how to talk to people. Knowing how to work and not knowing how to talk to people just makes a good situation go bad. He, can he can't even teach because he doesn't know how to talk to people. Talking to people is the biggest key of being a manager, of being a leader, being an owner of something. Because if you can't talk to people, you can't do anything. They won't do it for you because you don't, they don't understand you, they don't know what you're saying. They have no clue what you want. You just know that they didn't do the job you wanted them. But that's because you can tell them what you wanted. But that's pretty much it that in this video that I wanted to make. My little rant. Maybe not that little, but pretty much I'm just frustrated that there are managers and owners and leaders and, you know, that don't know how to talk to the workers and make them feel comfortable and teach them. I feel like people just need to take a step back and look at their managers, look at their leaders, look at their owners, and be like, is this really who I want to work for? Is this really why I want to be here? 
to be led by someone who can't talk to us, can't talk to me, can't help me learn what I need to learn so I can help the business and whatever I'm doing run smoothly. I'm just tired of seeing that in a lot of places that I'm tired of just seeing managers and leaders not know what they're doing and not know how to talk to people, yell at their workers and make them feel like crap because you're supposed to be there to help us, not to bring us down. I don't want to hear, oh, go do this and try not to mess up. I'd rather you be like, go over here and good luck. Try not, not try to mess us up. So I was like, oh, we're going to mess up and you just don't want us to. That's horrible. So either way, uh, thanks for watching my little rant about managers and stuff and leaders. Uh, remember, hit that like, subscribe button, comment, share, and watch my other channels. Watch uh, Eternal Gaming, or Eternal Anado Gaming, and Eternal Anado Otaku. I'll be posting up new videos there later this week. I've just been a little bit busy. That's why I haven't actually posted much in the last couple weeks. But hopefully all that will turn around soon. If not, well, just a video a week. I don't really care. I'm just doing this for fun. Thanks for watching. Deuces. I'll see you guys again later. Bye.